Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 9.0. And today is day 41. So today we're going to continue our training inside of our campaigns applet with paid ads, and we're going to dive into the first style of paid social ads and show you how that works. So let's get into it. We're going to come over to our megaphone icon, seventh one down, to get into our campaigns applet. We're going to go into create campaign. We're going to choose paid ad. And this is the screen that I introduced you to yesterday with all 12 of your ad types. So the most commonly seen, at least from what I have seen, ad type is typically an agent who's looking to advertise a very specific listing and is looking to capture leads from that listing utilizing the Facebook or Instagram lead form. So in that case, it's actually gonna be our first ad type here. We're gonna go with single image, and then again, I'll show you more as we go from here. But let's go ahead and click on our first quick start. The listing, ad type, Facebook, Instagram, single image using the Facebook lead gen form. So when we do that, we've got a walkthrough on the left-hand side of everything that we need to fill out with multiple steps. And then on the right-hand side, you've got an ad preview of what your ad's going to look like. And you can see here on the right-hand side, we do have a little drop-down. Right now, we're only doing Facebook and Instagram, so there is no other choices. But you saw some of those other ad types had some additional options. We'll look at those at a future date, probably tomorrow. So the first thing it says we need to do is enter the program details. So Facebook page, we need to make sure that we have our Facebook business page linked. If it is not, you'll see the opportunity to link a new page. So you can see I've gone in and linked all of my business pages that I'm either owner of or admin of. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose to correct Facebook page. Next up, we're gonna add a listing. So it says, please add your listings. now. This is a single listing ad type. That's why this is here. If you weren't advertising a listing, this wouldn't be the ad type you would select. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, let's find the listing. Then you can see, right, we've got all of these different listings to choose from. And there's a whole bunch. So the first thing I would recommend doing is go into filter. And what you can do is click this drop down, and then you can go down to listing agent. In this case, I would say Marty Muller. And in the background, it's gonna start working. You can see it already started bringing up all the Martys. And I'm gonna let that run for a little bit. And what you don't want to do is you don't wanna click on the X once it's done because that actually removes the filter. Once it's done, we can go ahead and click on the box in the back. And here are all the different listings. Let's go ahead and choose this listing off this is one of my internal expired for another testing that we'll talk about later but we'll use this listing for now so we're going to click on select and it's going to say all right that listing has been brought in and you can see it's got a preview of one of the photos in the listing next up i need to define who am i going to target with this ad so you can select anywhere from a 15 to 50 mile radius around a specific address. So I can start with either the listing location, which would be the address of 6007 Verde Place in this case, or I can choose to target a custom location. Now custom locations, I can choose up to 10 different locations for the same ad. Just realize that your budget is then being spread out over 10 different locations. So you can think you have a healthy budget with 50 bucks or 100 bucks, but if you're choosing 10 locations, you're only spending $5. Uh, if it's a 10 day ad, you're spending 50 cents a day, that's not gonna get you very far, right? So uh, this is also really helpful if you'll remember back when we did the referrals applet videos and we talked about the referral patterns, this can be really helpful to use with that in tandem, right? So I'm advertising a listing in Katy, where are people moving from when they move to Katy? So I might advertise this in Katy but then I could also advertise it in Houston and San Antonio and Austin and Dallas and all of those other places, right? But for this uh, video, we're just gonna go ahead and choose the listing location. And we're gonna stick with 15 mile radius. Next up, we've got the media type. So what sort of media type do you want to use? Do you wanna use an image or a video? Because we selected the listing, you can see 
that we've got multiple images. Now, again, this was a test, uh, test listing that I did. There's only three that have been uploaded and I'm pretty sure they're all the same image. So that's the only image. But if you had a standard listing that you were pulling up, you would have, oh, it looks like you brought in three of them, cool. Um, you would have you know, up to however many listing images you actually had. So it might be 20, 30, 50, whatever, it'll pull all those up. You can hover over the image. It's a tiny thumbnail, hard to see, but if you hover over, it'll tell you which image is being brought in. You can also choose to upload your own image if you would like, and you can see upload custom image here. You've also got some theme options on the right-hand side. So is this no option? Is it just listed? And we can see what happens, right? Or just sold. And you'll see that it kind of puts this frame on it with just listed or just sold for you. Um, so adds a little bit of character to the, uh, to the picture if you want. But if you don't need a theme option, you can leave it blank. Next up, you've got the text of the ad. So you've got your body text and then your headline. The headline is what shows on the bottom here. I know that sounds kind of weird, but the headline is on the bottom underneath the photo and your body text is what shows up above the photo here at the top. Now, when it comes to describing your ad or making the copy for your ad, my recommendation is always don't give away too much information. Right now, they can see that this is a four bedroom, 3.5 bath house listed at 500,000 in Katy. That might already be a turnoff for people. They may say, hey, uh, I need less bedrooms. I want fewer bathrooms. I want more bedrooms. I want more bathrooms. 500,000 is too expensive. 500,000 isn't enough. I don't wanna live in Katy. Whatever it may be, right? So oftentimes with ads, use items that are descriptive, right? Beautiful wood floors, custom millwork, uh, massive chef's kitchen. If you think the front yard is nice, just wait till you see the backyard. Those are all kinds of ad descriptions where you're giving a lot of information, but remember the whole point of this ad is for them to click on it, fill in their information such that you then capture it. So if you give them all the information, hey, it's a four, three and a half, in Katy, 500,000, open house this Saturday from 11 to one, well, why would they click on the ad? You literally just gave them everything that they need to know about the property, right? So when you are building the ad copy, you can see Inside the body text, you have 255 characters in total, and we've used up 52. We also have these sort of, uh, they're kind of like the merge fields from contacts. They bring in information about the property. Um, so you could, if you want to do that, and, and a single listing ad, I don't know that it's necessary, uh, but these are helpful if you're doing a multi-listing ad, which we'll talk about maybe tomorrow or the next day. So right now, um, check out the hottest new listing in Katy. This beautiful home features wood floors, granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, and more. The backyard is an oasis. That must be seen in person. I like exclamation points, whatever, right? So you can type in whatever you'd like. And then the headline, remember you only have 55 characters on that, so you gotta be a little a little bit shorter, right? Um, pool, hot, uh, or pool, jacuzzi, water slide, and what would we say? Um, outdoor kitchen. So again, you're kind of describing what the house has, but again, look at the picture. It doesn't show the backyard. So they're like, well, I wanna see the backyard. Okay, maybe I'll click on the photo and then give the information such that I could see the backyard. Next up, you've got your post lead submission destination. That's a long, fancy, basic way of saying what's the landing page. So where are they going to land once they fill in their information? So this might be uh, the link to your agent site I would recommend that, right? So martymiller.kw.com backslash, and then whatever the URL is for the property. Um, if you have specific landing pages, like in Katy, we're a part of the Houston Association of Realtors. So maybe it's my HAR link. Um, I like my personal agent site because then they're in my world and not in 
HAR's world. Uh, we will talk about agent sites later on in the challenge. But basically, you want this to be some sort of web address that they're going to be taken to once they submit their information. It's also important, don't just put like martymiller.kw.com because they clicked on it and gave you their information. They want to see the backyard. They don't want to go to just a general search page. So that kind of feels like bait and switch and might not work out well for you. So my recommendation, if you tell them, hey, click here to see the Oasis, make sure they get to the landing page of the actual property. Next up, you've got lead settings. So when a lead is confirmed and they enter their information, that information actually comes straight into your command contacts. So is there anything you want to do with that command contact when it comes in? So you can choose to add tags to it, right? So you can see you've got a bunch of different tags in here. I could choose to add it to a smart plan, All right? So maybe there's a immediate smart plan that I want to add. So that way when the lead comes in, boom, that smart plan fires. My recommendation, if you are gonna do that, and we've talked about smart plans in the past, make email the first step of that smart plan. If you make a text message the first step, remember that our text messages only fire between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m., or maybe it's 9 a.m. and 8 p.m. Um, and so if they click on the ad after 8 p.m., they're not going to hear from you until the next morning. But if you put email as the first step, they would get the email immediately. So if you are going to build a smart plan that follows up with your ads, and I re recommend that, I would also recommend that you have an email as the first step. If you go to Smart Plans, by the way, and just search Facebook or FB, you'll find a ton of Smart Plans in the library that have already been created for this purpose. You will need to have that Smart Plan downloaded before you create the ad. So you can see we can't go and create a Smart Plan right now. It has to be already downloaded to your library. Finally, you've got your default compliance. So uh, DBA logo override, do you want the default or custom? Um, in this case, you can see it brings in the ownership statement and my Market Center's logo. Um, I could do custom, in which case, right, I'm going to go in and actually choose the logo, but my logo is already selected, so I'm good to go. Um, it's going to make me go to the last step, so I don't have a specific link to this property, so I'm just going to put in my agent site. This is not what I would recommend. I would have a very specific site. But because I don't have that and I can't get to the next page without that URL, I'm just going to put that in for now as a placeholder. So we're going to proceed to the last step. What did I not do? I think we got everything. Proceed to the last step. There it goes. All right. Took a second. All right. So you can see here, how long is the ad going to run? So by default, you can fire the ad starting today. Now, if the home isn't ready to show or maybe it's incoming soon or something along those lines, you could always say, hey, don't start it until and you could move out the start date to the future. Maybe it's not gonna go live until next week, so let's start it on the 14th. Uh, now I want this uh, ad to run for at least 10 days, so let's do uh, 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We'll run it through the Friday the 23rd. Um, then we've got our budget, right? So you can see how much we're gonna spend. At this point, this is a 10-day ad with a $50 budget. I'm only spending $2 per day. So you can either change your daily spend. I'm sorry, I'm spending $5 per day. Uh, you can change your daily spend. The minimum is $2 per day. The max would be 500. But I could go in and say, hey, let's spend $10 per day. Well, it's a 10 day ad. So that would get me to a $100 program budget. And you can see it's gonna give you an estimate of how many leads would come in with that ad budget. Next up, I've already got my card saved here, but if you didn't, it would say add your card, and that's where you would click on to add your card, put in your card number, your expiration date, your CVC, and save that. Finally, at the bottom, it's just gonna say, hey, it looks like you're good to go. Right-hand side gives you an idea of what the ad's gonna look like. As long as everything looks good, excuse me, you can click on purchase now, or you can save it as a draft if there was one or two things you wanted to change or you weren't ready to fire it yet, but you weren't quite sure when you were gonna fire it, you could save that as a draft. And that now shows up inside of your ad programs, inside of the, ad, the excuse me, campaign applet. So we'll get back to this page uh, tomorrow. But here's our ad, you can see it is saved in draft. It's a single listing Facebook or Instagram style ad that includes the Facebook lead form. And if I wanna edit it, all I'd have to do is click on it. You can see it takes me right back into the ad again. So that's it for today, guys. A very basic run through of what a single listing, excuse me, single image 
listing-based Facebook Instagram ad that uses the Facebook or Instagram lead form, what that build out looks like. So this is probably the most simplest and basic of ads, and yet most likely the, the most popular ad that's run by agents in KW. So hopefully that helps. Tomorrow we're gonna dive into a few more of the a uh, little bit more advanced style ads, if you will, and I'll show you the nuance there. Um, and then probably one more day with the Google AdWords as well. So stay tuned for those. As always, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'll look forward to speaking with you again real soon.